Take two. So, uh, documentation for the developers here. I'm going to make this as quick as I can for them. So if we go to options, we can verify that I am using an RTX 3090. Um, it is not overclocked. I turned everything off just to make sure everything is like as plug and play as possible for compatibility. We're at 720p ultra low settings. Um, I think the frame rate might actually be tied to the GPU um, being limited, I'll show you here, um, to 100% utilization uh, in Task Manager. So Task Manager uses um, performance monitor DLLs and game engines will sometimes use DLLs to um, allocate and kind of figure out like how much performance headroom there is, especially since this has a detect hardware. So if you look at 80 FPS, uh, that is not 100% of this GPU. And we can prove that by using any other software monitoring. Now, just to make sure that there was no um, draw calls, or not draw calls, but there were no uh, compatibility calls uh, for one performance monitor working over the other, we're locked here at Task Manager for the GPU. Uh, is it 100%? Um, and I think this is where the performance bottleneck is coming from. I don't think it's CPU. I think the CPU utilization looks just fine for a game. Uh, it's a little single-threaded, but that's okay. Um, but what is what is uh, disturbing here is um, an RTX 3090 is at 100% load at 720p at 80 FPS. Um, so that uh, more investigation on my end, but that is a start for the developers since they have the uh, uh, more resources than I do for um, finding the variables within the game configuration files. But I would start with removing the uh, performance monitor DLL and use something like a GPU DLL 